It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to talk about two ways to graph a line. We're going to use a table, and then we're going to use slope and y-intercept. Here is our question that we're going to work with today. We're asked to graph the line that represents this function, y equals 3 half x plus 2. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to ask you to pause, and then you do it your way. Come back and hit play, and I'll show you two different ways to do it. Welcome back. So the first way I'm going to do it is I'm going to use a table. So typically I tell students we're going to set up a T table, right? X and Y. We're going to have our inputs and our outputs. So we input something for X, we evaluate, and we get a value for Y, and then that creates an ordered pair. So negative 1, 0, and 1 are usually my first go-tos because those are really easy numbers to work with when you're plugging in for X and evaluating. However, in this equation, or this function, we have a denominator of 2. So we're going to change our rule of thumb, and we're going to use our denominator of 2 to guide our inputs so that we can have integer outputs. So let's change our table to negative 2, 0, and 2, because those are our next smallest values that are going to be the easiest to work with, and it'll clear what we call clearing the denominator. So let's start by saying we're going to take this value right here and plug it in for x and then evaluate to get our corresponding coordinate for y, our output. So the first thing we're going to do is solve for y when x is negative 2. So we come up here and we're going to put negative 2 here for x. So let's rewrite that. y equals 3 halves times negative 2 plus 2. So you can see all I've done is I've taken this input x, negative 2, and put it in. You can pick any values you want for x. I just pick these because they're easy numbers to work with, but an infinite amount of points. If you wanted to, you could put in 1 half. That will get messy and hard to graph, but you could put that in there. All right, let's solve for y. So we see that we have 3 halves times negative 2. So negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3, and we get to add our 2. Negative 3 add 2 is negative 1, so I know that when x is negative 2, y is negative 1. That is an ordered pair. We can graph that. Negative 2, negative 1. Plot your point. All right, now we're going to go find another point. We're going to put 0 in for x, let's write that down, replaced x with 0. Any value multiplied by 0 is 0. Then we get to add our 2. 0 add 2 is 2. So when x has a value of 0, y is 2. Now we have another ordered pair. 0, 2. And graph our point. Now I could stop here because you only need two points to graph a line but this is going to be my insurance policy, just to make sure I didn't make a mathematical error. So let's do a third. We're going to find out what y equals when we put 2 in for x. So here we go. 3 halves, I've replaced the x with 2. All right, 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. Don't forget to add the 2. 3 add 2 is 5, so I know when the input is 2, my output y is 5, and I have a third ordered pair, 2, 5. So let's go graph that. Starting at the origin, 2, 5, plot my point. Now I have three points. I can connect my line, and I can see that all three points are on the line, so I know I didn't make an error. So there is how to graph this function using a table. All right, let's try another way. Let's graph this line, and we're going to do it with slope and y-intercept. So I can see that this function is written in what we call slope-intercept form, where m represents the slope, and in here the slope is 3 halves, our rate of change, and then we have our y-intercept, which is right here, and our y-intercept, and the sign that comes before tells if it's positive or negative. So I can see that y-intercept is where the line crosses the y-axis, so I can plot that point. So this 2 is the going to fall on the y-axis, where the line crosses. Now, to find out slope, we use that as rise over run. 
So we can see our rise here is three and our run is two. So from this point, I'm gonna rise three and run two and plot a point. And we can do it again. Let's rise three and run two and plot a point. Now I have three points and I can see, draw my line. So you could also go down three and over two. You just have to go when it's a positive slope, your line needs to be increasing left to right. And both directions, rise and run, need to be positive or negative. So I could go down three, left two, down three, left two. And that's how you graph using slope and y-intercept if you're given a function in slope-intercept form. That's the magic of math here, graphing a line two ways with a table and slope and y-intercept. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you come back soon and have a great day.